Welcome back. You're watching Talk of the Town. My next guest is Hannah Marunk. She's with Alzheimer's Association. They've been serving our communities since 1980. Welcome to Talk of the Town. Yeah, thanks for having me. You bet. Thanks for coming in. Can we talk a little bit about your organization, Alzheimer's Association? Um, how do they help people in our area? Yeah, so um, locally we serve nine counties. We are headquartered in the Madison area, but we serve um, all the way down to Rock County in the state line. And our mission is really to just eliminate Alzheimer's through research, um, support and care groups, and really just breaking the stigma. That's very helpful for folks, whether they have it or have friends that have it, neighbors, family members. I'm wondering how people reach out to you if they know someone, or maybe they wonder themselves if they're starting to have some issues. Yeah, so um, people can come to our local office. We are off of the Stoughton Road exit on the east side. Otherwise, we encourage families to give us a call when they're um, thinking maybe a family member is affected or maybe they're just looking for caregiving support. Mm -hmm. I did look at your website, and you had a lot of great tips just if you're kind of dabbling and, and starting yeah. out maybe. For example, you had the 10 warning signs of Alzheimer's and uh, walk people through the stages of it. Mm -hmm. And the latest research news, I thought that was kind of neat. Yeah. You wanted to see what's what and because news and research is changing all the time. Absolutely, there's a lot going on and what's great is a lot of our funding actually goes and stays right here at UW-Madison with research that people are doing um, with Alzheimer's as well as dementia. So let's talk about some of the funding that you, you get. You have an event coming up and it's the Dane County Walk to End Alzheimer's. Tell me about that event. Yeah, so this year's event will be held on Sunday, October 7th and it'll be on the west side of Madison at Memorial High School. We are encouraging people to come out and raise awareness with us. Um, people can register, like I said, starting at 8.30 or they can register prior to the event. And then at 10 a.m. we'll do a promise garden ceremony and then um, begin the walk. How far is the walk or did you say? The walk is under two miles. It's like 1.75 miles this year. Mm -hmm. And how many years have you done this walk? Oh, this walk has been around for a while. I recently started with the organization, so we actually do two walks within our area. We do our Dane County walk and um, a walk in Beloit for Rock County. Yeah, you said you serve nine counties. That's, yes. That's quite a bit of space. Yeah. Now, if people want to partake in this walk, you said they can join by just showing up and registering or do it ahead online. Mm -hmm. Is there a fee? No, there's actually no fee to register for our walk. We encourage people to register early. Um, fundraising is encouraged so that we can continue to um, fund research and care and support programs locally, but there's no fee to register. Um, you can just come out and show awareness. So how does the fundraising part work if someone chooses to do that? But it sounds like you don't have to. You could just come for the walk if yep. you want. Yeah, you can come just for the awareness aspect, but um, people who fundraise, for example, $100 or more will receive one of these walk shirts. Um, we try to create like a sea of purple that day to, <laughs> so that as we're walking through that community, we are getting the awareness out there um, that we are here within this community. So um, we also do a couple different fun incentives, water bottles, you know, you can reach tiers to win backpacks, um, yards, yard signs, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. What made you decide to join this organization? You said you were kind of new to Alzheimer's Association. Yeah, my um, grandfather is starting to show some signs of dementia and just general memory loss. So um, when this job came across, it was definitely one that was near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite part of the website that you like to encourage people to check out? Yeah, definitely. Um, if you go to our main site, which is alz.org, um, on there, it's all about walk recently. So nationwide, we have over 600 walks happening. And so you just search by your zip code and it'll tell you which walk is closest to you and the date and information and so on. Mm -hmm. When people go on these walks, do they bring strollers and dogs? Is, is kind of everyone welcome? Yep, everyone's welcome. We make sure that they are wheelchair um, accessible, stroller accessible. So we encourage families to um, gather around their loved ones and sometimes we do see people there with Alzheimer's or dementia but a lot of times um, it's a team of family members, caregivers. Um, we have a lot of local businesses that also get involved. So Okay and two miles you said. What if it rains? Uh, if it rains we do have a rain date but our fingers are always crossed that that isn't an option. Uh Absolutely. Okay, so just to recap, the date on that was the October? Date is, yep, October 7th at Memorial High School on the west side of Madison, and teams can register at alz.org slash walk. Very good. Thank you so much, Hannah. Yes, thanks for having me. All right, we have more Talk of the Town for you right after this break.